Apple just released their new software, macOS Sonoma, and is it ready for music production today? Well, in this video, we're gonna show you what's working and what's not working. And stick around to the end of the video for a giveaway. What's poppin' gang? I'm 30 Killer Beats, and today we're trying out macOS Sonoma for music production. People are always telling you not to upgrade or to always back up, and you know, they're always telling you not to do that, and they never try it out themselves. Why not just try it out myself? And personally, I never backed it up. I just went ahead and upgrade, and let's just show you exactly what is actually working for music production and is this actually ready to start making music with also before we get started this video is sponsored by DistroKid. shout out to DistroKid for sponsoring today's video if you guys are looking to upload your music to online streaming services like apple music spotify definitely check out DistroKid. you can upload your music to unlimited streaming services they also have promo cards so if you want to promote your music using different videos they also have a video generator for you if you also need help with mastering and you just already did the mixing part they also have a service for that as well definitely check out district kid they have multiple affordable plans to help you get started today first off we're going to start with fl studio right now i'm on the beta software the official version releases on the 26th so we're kind of early so let's just see as soon as you download this program what's going to work or not all right gang so i have fl studio open up right now and i have a full beat ready to go and let's just see if it plays correctly with no issue work there's no issue so far so let's just go through some plugins and see which one is working and which one is not so as you can see omnisphere is working no issues there contact 7 is working spitfire audio is also working as you can see there's no issues massive x is also working too so there's no issue there you know what i'm saying basically i, I haven't had no issues so far let's check to see if silent one is working Mmm, as you can see, Silent One kind of crashed my FL Studio. Uh, and the FL Studio is saying it's not responding. So if you're a heavy user with Silent One, you don't want to check this out. After doing some further digging, I was able to get it to run in macOS Sonoma. I even pulled up my previous beat session and got it to work as well. As you can see, it's pulling up just fine. But if you're ever having this particular issue here where the plugin is too big, just go to the menu here and then change it to size and change the size to whatever you need it to be. Pause. So now let's check and see what effects is not working. All right, so as you can see, we got the Slate Digital FGX working. So pretty much Slate Digital plugins are, are gonna be working on here. I have another Slate Digital plugin here. That one is working as well. I'm Universal Audio plugins. Um, I can tell you right now, Universal Audio stuff is, they're gonna work. I mean, I had a little error message right there just a minute ago. As you can see, it's not disabled at the bottom. So it's pretty much gonna work. MSDSP, one of my favorite companies for plugins are all also working as well as you can see shout out to baby audio their plugins are also working as well if you have um, a ton of their plugins they're gonna be fine on Mac OS Sonoma it looks like it's also working let's see let's see let's see there you have it ozone 10 is also working so there's no issue there so as you can see everything in FL studio is pretty much working now let's go over to Pro Tools all right as you can see we got Pro Tools working up wave plugins are also working in Mac OS Sonoma so I mean basically everything is basically working I would say I did notice one issue in Pro Tools and that's when you're actually adding in hardware or you're adding in plugins. Sometimes it could just crash a little bit here and there. When I was mixing paid songs in macOS Sonoma, it would just crash. So just try to make sure you just save consistently. Other than that, it's just a little buggy. I'm pretty sure Avid will update their software. Uh, we could try some other stuff, but it's really no point. If you guys want to enter the giveaway, make sure you comment down below. What are you using right now, Mac or PC? These are the studio monitors I'll be giving away the INUNF from Kali Audio. Let me know what other videos you want to see on this channel. Make sure you add me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. You guys stay safe. Peace.